whaki nui a he mau. Tākina mai rā, te kupu atu wai, nuku atu wai, rangi ki runga, ki au, ki tēnei, manga o te akamatu a e tū nei. Nā u, ko wāhi roa, ko rātā, ko tū whakararo, ko whakatau, pōteki, ko runga mai, ko au, ko ngāti whātū oi. E kauritū wāo, he mānuka, he matakahi te aro, reo kia tika, o reo kia rere, o reo kia Māori. Ko te kaha kei au, he kaha tu a tinitini, he kaha tu a mano mano. Kā puta ki te whaiau, kā puta ki te ao marama, whānu, whānu, haramai te toki haumi e, huie, tāwai ki e. Kei ngā paupau o te whare o Ngāti Whātua ki tāmaki, haramai rā ki e nei pau o te pāri matua. U taina mai ngā mate o te wā ki runga ki a takapara whau, no hatahi ai ki ngā mate o te hau kāinga. Kia mihia, kia tangihia, kia porapora aki ti ai e tātou katoa, no reira ngā mate haere, haere, haere atu rā. E te iwi, haramai ki e nei kōrero o ngā hea mana o te poari matua, kia whakamārama atu i ngā nekehanga o te wā, hei aha, hei whakakotahi ai tō tātou nei haere i ngā wā, e haere ake nei, e haere ake nei. Nō reira, kei taku rahi, kei taku nui, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, katoa. Tēnā koutou e te whānau, tēnā koe ngā. Thank you so much for your karakia and opening mihi. It's been a while whānau, but this is our first webinar with you since Matariki, since our Māori New Year, so... Uh, it's great to be here to be able to speak to you about some really important topics uh, that we, the board, uh, the trust, are uh, um, uh, dealing with at the moment uh, on your behalf and also to give you some really great updates on some of the exciting projects we've got happening here at home. Tonight we're going to be speaking to you firstly about the sale of Tamaki Girls College and I'll speak to that, uh, give you some of that detail. We'll then move into the new Papakainga development on Hawaiki Street, and I'll hand that over to Ngā, to Ngarimu, to do that, uh, to talk you through that. Really exciting. We've had uh, lots of applications, people interested in wanting to get into that Papakainga build. Uh, we also will be giving you an update around our uh, process to withdraw um, the, our mandate from uh, Te Runanga o Ngāti Whātua and where we are with that uh, kaupapa. Ngarimu will then give us uh, a brief update on our High Court appeal and uh, where that's uh, at at the moment. And then we're going to talk about some really um, great upcoming events that would involve um, lots of our whānau about celebrating who we are as Ngāti Whātua, Ngāti Whātua o rākei, Ngāti Whātua ki tāmaki. Nō reira whānau, um, no mai hara mai uh, ki te kōrero uh, ki a māua. So, Tamaki Girls College. As you know, uh, this uh, whenua has been uh, sitting um, undeveloped for some time. And we have been uh, given, uh, you know, the kōrero from Fano at different wānanga that if we were to do something, um, it would be that piece of land that we would look at. I'm really excited to say that we have actually got a sale and purchase agreement, and that will uh, be settled on the 12th of August um, well, this week actually, coming up, um, and uh, we have sold the whenua to Tamaki Regeneration, who will be developing that whenua into some affordable housing, especially for those whānau that are living down in the Gleninus, Pamua and Point England area. We managed to get a great deal uh, with Tamaki Regeneration, and, and as you know, they've done some uh, fantastic housing developments down there, and some of our whānau here from Orake are actually down there as homeowners in some of those new homes. So this is another exciting opportunity um, for whānau to get uh, into, into the home ownership and into some uh, beautiful brand new homes. As part of this um, agreement with Tamaki Regeneration, we also have uh, carved off a, a section of the land um, where Auntie Bunky, where Auntie Bunky's whareer is, and we're going to be able to build probably around 10 to 12 whānau homes in that particular area, which will be for Ngāti Whātua Orake. So again, 
you know, uh, this is a great, uh, a great time for us, a great time for our first homeowners and a great time for our whanau to get onto that home ownership ladder. Now, do you have anything you'd like to add on the tamaki? Yeah, <clears throat> just importantly, we've been liaising with Ngāti Power along the way. Um, in 2017, uh, we settled our uh, dispute with them over who had the mana in that part of the, the rohe. Uh, we recognise them as the tangata whenua uh, of that area. Um, and accordingly, the uh, purchaser of the land, Tamaki Region, will formally recognise Ngāti Power as the tangata whenua, whilst providing uh, Ngāti Power exclusively also affordable housing opportunities uh, in that development. So. Uh, it's been great to maintain and even uh, develop that relationship with our, our neighbours, um, Ngāti Pāo. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you, um, thank you Ngā. And uh, the other thing too, Fano, is that um, uh, without uh, we, we won't be disclosing uh, the amount, but the proceeds or some of the proceeds from that sale is actually going to help us with the development of the um, our housing uh, kāinga tuarua, which is on the Hawaiki Street, Kupe Street um, section, up by the church. And I'm going to hand over to Ngāri Mu now just to talk through uh, that exciting housing development that's going to be happening for us, uh, for you, our whānau. Yeah, very exciting news. We have um, <clears throat> received uh, resource consent for that development, so that's uh, on the junction of Kupe Street and Hawaiki Street, a piece of land we purchased back from uh, Housing New Zealand now kind of order about four or five years ago. Um, so we have got a resource consent. I think it's about 35 uh, terrace homes that we will be building. Uh, there will be five one-bedroom homes, two eight-bedroom homes, and 11 four-bedroom terrace homes. So a lot of the feedback uh, that we got from Fano through the uh, workshops on Kakahuria Te Whenua on the Orake Housing Master Plan uh, was a growing need for one bedroom uh, units in houses, so uh, that's reflected uh, in the designs. So um, it is uh, again our intention to prioritise first home own, first homeowners. Um, so far, no who are interested. If you haven't registered already, we've already had uh, a heap of names uh, put their put their names forward uh, for this development. Um, so if you haven't, please uh, make it known to us. Uh, if you do wish to put your name forward for our house to be considered, um, you know, and um, keep watching those, uh, you know, takeaways and McDonald's and uh, uh, any spare pute you get, um, you know, pay off debt and credit cards if you can get rid of them, uh, just to uh, make it as easy as possible for uh, the funding to come through from financiers. So we are still uh, working through uh, the finance packages. Uh, as well, um, but yeah, a, a big step forward with the uh, granting of the of the resource consent, and we'll be coming back out to you all with some more information uh, in the coming weeks. And I think one of the exciting things, um, you know, uh, for this particular build is the intergenerational living uh, that's going to be part of the concept design, which means some of those four bedroom homes are going to have a nice little one bedroom granny flat. Joe Maka, are you listening? Um, so that uh, you know, um, you can have uh, your kaumātua or your nanny, your koro, uh, staying with you, and or you can put one of your kids down there, and they can help you pay uh, the mortgage off. So you know, um, lots of opportunities, but great opportunities for you, uh, Fano. I'm just going to move into the uh, withdrawal now around the runanga. So, um, Nga, if you can just take us through the recap. Um, for where we, where we started and where we're at now, and then we'll give the update to the whānau around what our next steps will be. Sure. Um, te Runanga o Ngāti Whātua uh, whānau, you may uh, recall, uh, have a last, I guess, Ngāti Whātua treaty settlement across the whole uh, rohe. It's called Y303, um, and they have been negotiating that claim um, you know, for a couple of decades uh, now. And um, we have had we have raised uh, on numerous occasions with the Runanga over the last three or four years significant concerns that Ngāti Whātua Orake, Ngāti Whātua Ki Tāmaki uh, have uh, with their agreement in principle uh, that they had signed um, without our approval actually or notifying us um, some years ago. Um, so we have been going through um, a disputes process uh, with the uh, Runanga o Ngāti Whātua, 
And that's a formal disputes process that we raised through their deed of mandate, which they secured in 2008. Um, and we believe that they haven't undertaken um, all the steps that that deed of mandate uh, said they should in terms of negotiating uh, the wider treaty settlement for the iwi. Um, so we've raised this, the concerns through a, a dispute resolution process. Uh, really it boils down to um, a contest between the Runanga and ourselves about who has the mana to direct um, matters of rangatiratanga and tikanga uh, in our rohe, and uh, that's where uh, the nub of the matter is. Um, it's the view of the runanga that they have, um, I guess, equal authority um, to Ngāti Whātua Ōrāke uh, Trust uh, in our rohe, um, and we have uh, disputed that. Uh, we've seen behaviour from them um, along those lines as well, with motorways being signed off in our rohe, where we have objected to them. Um, and other kaupapa uh, where the runanga have, uh, I guess, uh, come over the top of us um, on, on different um, different uh, matters that should be left for the haukainga, for the ahika, the ones who, who live here every day and the ones who have protected the mana here uh, every day since uh, since Tupiriri came to Tāmaki uh, to establish us. So um, we're in a dispute uh, process with them. We've had a couple of hui. We've exchanged letters to outline all of our concerns. Uh, we've asked them to address all of those concerns. Uh, we've had a couple of webinar now to explain those previously um, to you, Farno, and we ask for your feedback um, and continue to send your feedback in through the various uh, channels. Uh, we will meet with our uh, Tomata uh, Komatu Manukura, uh, and we will also meet with the Marae Committee uh, to go, to explain uh, the issues at hand and why we are in dispute. Uh, and this dispute may uh, lead to us withdrawing mandate from Te Runanga o Ngāti Whātua in regards to uh, Y303. Um, we note um, Te Rorua uh, in the north at Maunganui have um, withdrawn. Um, they do not participate uh, or engage with Te Runanga uh, as they have also felt uh, the encroachments in Takahi on uh, their mana and their rohe as the haukainga. Um, we've also been sharing our concerns with Te Uri Oho, um, who also at times have experienced similar uh, behaviour from, from Te Runanga. Um, but we will, once we have all of these hui, uh, the Trust will then take all of the feedback from those hui uh, and the webinars and then we will determine uh, whether we should uh, withdraw uh, mandate. Um, one of the key things that we are concerned with uh, is the uh, Te Runanga o Ngāti Whātua draft trust deed um, and that uh, effectively says that um, they, um, they, their process chooses uh, the Ngāti Whātua representative for Tāmaki um, and we have uh, serious concerns with that as only, in our view, only the Ngāti Whātua Ōrāke Trust via Ngāuri o Tupiriri uh, who put us in place and remove us if we're not doing the job, uh, has the rangatiratanga to represent uh, te tau from Tupiriri, Ngāho and Tūringutu in Tāmaki. We do not uh, believe that a uh, new trust uh, set up by uh, Te Runanga uh, should have any authority over the Ngāti Whātua Rake Trust uh, in our rohe. Um, so that's a, a, a key uh, dispute uh, that we are having with them, and to date we haven't been able to resolve that. Uh, therefore, uh, we are again talking to you tonight, Fano, about this process. Um, we did have uh, one um, win, I guess, for about three years. We have been uh, pushing back on the Runanga's uh, Maka claim. This is a marine area coastal um, the seabed foreshore uh, act. Uh, it's called now called the Maka. Um, which uh, the Runanga had in their maps that they would, uh, I guess, claim uh, Rangatiratanga over Waitamata in northern Manuko Harbour. Um, and we put the argument that, well, we are the Hokainga, we are the Ahika, uh, we are the Uri of Tupiriri who established uh, that Rangatiratanga and we're the ones that have cared for it and tried to protect it uh, ever since. And uh, nobody else, um, including our own Ngāti Whātua relations from Kaipara, um, should uh, have any say in uh, Waitamata uh, and Manukau Harbour, unless through our Fananga Tanga and through our invitation, 
Um, just as we, um, as, as Ngāti Whātua ki Tāmaki, shouldn't be uh, putting a claim over the Kaipara Harbour um, and trying to um, have oh. similar mana uh, to our Tūri Oho Ngāti Whātua ki Kaipara uh, relations in, in the Kaipara Harbour. And so um, we managed um, in recent months to um, change Te Runanga's mind um, and they have uh, adjusted their uh, seabed foreshore Mecca maps and have, uh, to date, um, formally withdrawn um, north of uh, our rohe, our extended rohe being up uh, at Okura, Long Bay, and over uh, out to the west, uh, just just uh, north of Piha. Um, so that is um, uh, a positive development, mm. and uh, we hope that that would set the, uh, the ball rolling for... Uh, the rest of the issues that we have uh, a dispute with them over. So. Yeah, thanks, Nga. Uh, great, um, great corridor and a great update uh, just to bring the whānau to, to where we are now. And you know, Fana, this is not, uh, you know, this has not been easy because, uh, you know, as Ngāti Whātua, um, we have to be united on all things because, as you know, uh, we are always trying to protect uh, not only our. Uh, our status as tangata whenua, um, but also our rangatira tanga in our own rohe, and to be um, and a difficult process to go through with the runanga. But uh, we are we are trying our best to do the best that we can uh, for us as Ngāti Whātua Orake. One thing I do want to mention is that if we do withdraw, this won't impact on you as uh, individuals or beneficiaries if you are registered with the runanga you will still continue to receive those benefits. All this means is that uh, we will not be part of the deed of settlement and we won't have a seat at the table once it's settled. That's the, that's the main area, um, or, you know, the main impact, I suppose, for us. Um, but I think what it does show is us here um, at home and, you know, and here on Orake, um, that we are the protectors of the Kahutopuni or Tupiriri, which is Ngati Fatua Kitamaki. And, um, you know, we are, we are fighters, we are battlers uh, from way back. And uh, for us to protect our mana, to protect our whakapapa, and to protect our history, this is something that we have to do, even if it is going um, into a dispute uh, with, you know, with our other whanaunga. Anyway, um, we will keep you updated. As Nga said, we will we will meet. Uh, we will hold um, a couple more meetings, um, hui with Fano, and then the trust will then consider all of the feedback that we've received, and then a decision will be made as to whether we will withdraw the mandate, and we will notify Te Ruru Nga Ngāti Fatua. Kapai. Awesome. Now, another one I'm going to hand back to Nga is around uh, just about an update or a recap on our um, High Court appeal and where we are with that. Yeah, so um, you recall our uh, High Court case uh, in regards to cross claims uh, into Tamaki, um, not by the Runanga this time, but uh, by some other uh, iwi. Um, and the Crown trans or proposing to transfer Central Auckland lands uh, to some of them as part of their individual treaty settlement. So um, you'll recall Fano and many of you came on the Hikoi um, and viewed uh, the various videos that were put out on April, uh, near the end of April, where we uh, went back to court to hear Justice Palmer uh, read his very lengthy uh, decision, um, having heard our case uh, last year. Um, over a number of weeks in the High Court at Te Rūroa, uh, one of our old class sites in central Auckland. So um, the decision overall, um, I guess, was was disappointing. However, there were some positives uh, in the decision. Um, in particular, uh, one of his declarations, he acknowledged and declared that Ngāti Whātua Orake are the mana whenua and ahika of central Auckland, according uh, to their tikanga. Um, so that is a, um, a declaration we um, totally support. Um, it's obvious to 99.9% of maori dim and 99% uh, of pakea <laughs> um, However, um, some of the other declarations, uh, he noted that um, some iwi don't agree with us because they have a different tikanga. Um, so we have um, 
uh, engaged with the court on those declarations. We want to just sharpen them up and strengthen them and note that um, most uh, iwi uh, and hapu across the country agree uh, with our form of uh, tikanga uh, and that um, you know there is always in one area uh, one hapu uh, who holds the mana, uh, i te whenua, uh, and the ahika of, of an area. Um, we have, however, determined to um, appeal uh, the judge's decision. Um, we believe that uh, he has made some, uh, I guess, errors in judgment and law, uh, in the interpretation of the law, so um, we have appealed um, and we are preparing to go to um, the uh, Court of Appeal uh, to hear those points. Um, and our uh, stance has always been that um, tikanga is a part of common law. Ngāti Whātua's tikanga in regards to land and mana i te whenua is generally accepted and widely held across uh, Māori dim um, and that the Crown, um, in signing its 2012 treaty settlement with us, recognised our tikanga um, and should respect our tikanga. And um, if it's going to transfer land uh, in our rohe, in our heartland, without our approval, then that is a breach of our tikanga, and therefore it is a breach of our treaty settlement, and it is also a breach of uh, LA, LAW, Pākehā law, New Zealand law, Aotearoa law uh, as well. So we have appealed that decision. Um, we have also uh, taken up the judge's offer to assist all parties um, to progress a, a tikanga-based resolution process, uh, and Fano, you'll all know well that we have always sought to meet directly uh, in the most Māori of ways with those who claim uh, mana whenua uh, here in our rohe to come to Ōrāke uh, face to face to have those kōrero. We'll even travel uh, all the way down to their uh, papakaingas and uh, marais as well, and we've done that, <coughs> and to speak to their people um, about their take. They claim take here in central Auckland. Um, and those previous few um, times where uh, the other side have actually fronted um, didn't result in a, um, a, you know, a, a resolution, but uh, the judge has offered his help and we've accepted that. Uh, we've written to all the parties to say we're always open and still open, um, but at this stage uh, the other parties haven't um, taken up our offer to meet kanohiki te kanohi. Um, however, we will, um, we will, uh, you know, always be open and endeavour to speak to them uh, whenever and wherever we can. So yeah, that's that's the update there, and um, we'll keep uh, Fano um, informed as we progress the next stages. Thanks, Gar. And I think it's fair to say, you know, um, as chair of our settlement protection committee, you know, it's a huge um, thank you and acknowledgement to you and to our legal team, you know, for the continuing efforts that you're making. Um, you know, to ensure that our mana is protected um, and that we are doing the right thing, um, especially with LAW and LORE. Yeah, if I could, if I could just add that the, the court case, and we have another one coming up in the yeah. West Haven uh, Marina as well, and um, this is just the point ahead of, of protecting our mana whenua uh, here, in, here in Tāmaki. There are Dozens and dozens of other things that happen every day, every week mm. um, that the Fano do, hosting people at the mm. Marae. Um, I mean, you've just uh, this week been down um, <laughs> with the ports of Auckland, blessing a, a, a tugboat, an electric one. Um, yeah. And it's all of those things uh, that all add up to protecting our mana here in uh, Te Kahutopuni or Te Pereri. And uh, this is just one of those unfortunate battles yeah. we have to have. And uh, if we don't have that battle, um, then who will? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, totoko, totoko nga. Um, and we'll just keep a, you know, a watching space on this whānau, um, and we will keep you updated as things progress uh, for the High Court Appeal. So, um, we've got some really up, uh, exciting upcoming events coming through. So, um, I just wanted to let you know, whānau, that we are going to have a pai whiri, which is, um, we're going to be hosting a live mayoral debate uh, with the uh, four candidates for the Auckland mayoralty here in our Farenui, and it's going to be hosted by Mihingarangi Forbes, um, and you can actually watch that live uh, debate on TV3 on the Hui. 
So um, we are really excited about uh, hosting this. I think it's a great opportunity for those four mayoral candidates to be in our whare, to be in Tumutumu Whenua, and to come and uh, debate some of those hot uh, issues here for us here in Tamaki. Uh, one of them being acknowledging us as Tangata Whenua here in central Tamaki and ensuring that, you know, uh, that we are um, the, at the forefront um, of all their decisions that they make when they take up that most important position here as mayor. The next one we have is the Tuku Whenua, and I'll hand that over to you, which is around the celebration of um, um, Apihai Te Kawe. So Nga, if you can let us know what that's all about. Yeah, so um, September 18, 1840, uh, our Tupuna Te Kawe, Te Rewiti, um, Te and others uh, gathered on Te Rere Ngaoreti, Point Brutamat, and transferred the first 3,000 acres of Whenua, uh, to Governor Hobson to establish uh, our beautiful city, Auckland City, uh, and that hope for partnership uh, of mutual benefit. Um, and so we're marking that, that day, um, you know, seven, eight generations oh. later, um, just to, you know, remind ourselves of, of what our tūpuna were hoping to achieve. Um, and I think, you know, finally we're seeing some of the fruits come th through to uh, these, this generation now in terms of that, that long-term vision. And also to remind, um, you know, Te Ao uh, Tāmaki Whānui, um, who it was um, that started this, this great city, um, and that there is a, still a lot of work to do um, for that hope for um, partnership where uh, both parties are, are both benefiting uh, equally uh, and equitably. So there will be um, some early morning karakia mm. um, around the place where we'll be doing uh, Zooms, live Zooms from the various spots. Uh, Te Rere Ngaoreti, Emily Place. I believe there'll be someone on Maunga Fau and um, over to Opo to Keha at Cox's Bay and um, nearer to home here uh, at Tauradua, the old stream, which was one of the eastern boundaries, um, to mark that day. And I think there will be a, a bit of a kai up at the marae after as well. Nice. Um, as well. So it's an important day uh, for me. I, you know, I, I, I think this is actually Auckland Anniversary Day mm. um, rather than the January 31. That's just when Hobson uh, dropped his anchor up at Kororareka. But, um, yeah, I think this is a, a really significant day, not only for, for Ngauri or Tupiriri, uh, Te Kawauma, but um, hopefully in time all Aucklanders who come to our city will come to realise the importance and significance of, of this day as well. Yeah, no ticker, and I'm so, I'm so looking forward to that, especially being able to be part of uh, listening and uh, hearing some of that beautiful um, history and narrative from our, uh, some of our cultural experts. So, yeah, that'll be really exciting. So, the Ipanui's and finally... Following a two-year break, well, it actually wasn't a break, far no way, it was COVID. But anyway, following um, two years, we are really pleased to announce that our Ngāti Whātua Rākei Awards are back in 2022 to celebrate the many bright fetu among our people. And this year's awards are going to be hosted at Te, uh, Tāmaki Paingahira, the Auckland... Uh, War Memorial Museum, which is, I think is a fantastic place to hold an awards evening for us. Uh, and that's going to be in, an Oct in October. So Fano nominations will open early next month. So get nominating, um, you know, some of those uh, stars, some of those, um, you know, real talented people that we have in our Fano for those various categories. And just keep a watchful space out on Ipanui. Uh, to see uh, the dates when uh, tickets go on sale and, you know, all the stuff that goes in behind it. Another opportunity, Farno, to get dressed up and, uh, and be together, uh, be Farno, be as one and enjoy each other's company. So, yeah, really looking forward to that and, uh, and, um, and seeing, uh, you know, some of our talented Farno coming through in the various um, areas that they just excel in. So... Um, Unless there's any other kaupapa from you, Nga, I think that's us. Um, it's been great sitting here having a conversation again. Uh, you know, even though him and I sit together as uh, chair and deputy chair, people think that we probably talk to each other every day. Um, and actually, we don't. We probably see each other once a week when we have a bit of a catch-up. So this has been really cool 
sitting in the whare nui having a kōrero with you about some of um, the stuff that we're working on and also some of the stuff that's coming up. Uh, nō reire te whānau, um, thank you for your time and I'll hand it back to ngā uh, to whakakapui uh, our hui. Uh, tēnā koe, uh, marama. Uh, tēnā koutou e ngā uri ka, katoa, uh, kua kōrero hia ngā kōrero katoa e māo ko uh, marama, uh, me te aha, kua, kua marama uh, te katoa pea, <laughs> koe, koe rā te tūmana, ko nō reira uh, e te whānau tēnā koutou katoa he karaki hei whakakapi, nō reira unuhia, unuhia tūra, te pūtaku e ngā kōrero, te wānanga unuhia, te hautapu āreki, ka whakaria e rongo, kia paitara āwhare, ka whakamaua, kia tīna, tīna, huie, tāiki. Tāiki.